Many dog owners take their pups everywhere, especially on a nice sunny day. Whether you're hitting the beach or exploring a new park or trail, chances are you're gonna be bringing your four-legged friend. As people, we're often reminded about the importance of sun protection, but what about for dogs? I'm Dr. Julie, and this is my friend Chibi. Today, we're gonna to talk about sun safety tips to keep in mind for your dog. Most pet owners probably don't even think about sun protection for their pets because of their fur. But actually, your dog can become sunburned. Your dog's risk level for UV damage is affected by the color of their skin and also the thickness of their coat. Hairless breeds, like Chinese crested dogs, are especially prone to sun damage. Other breeds, like Dalmatians, Boxers, Greyhounds, and Bull Terriers, are at high risk for sun damage due to their light color and short fur coats. Depending on your dog's preferences, if they really enjoy sunbathing, they're also at risk for UV damage. So how do you know if your dog has a sunburn? The most commonly affected areas for sunburn on dogs are the ear tips, bridge of the nose, around the mouth, the armpits and the belly. You might see red, flaky, or swollen skin that's sensitive when it's touched. If your dog has a mild sunburn, make sure not to put any topical ointments like aloe on the burn, because this can actually be toxic if your dog ingests it. Instead, try taking a cool compress and applying it to the area. In some cases, your veterinarian may prescribe a topical antibiotic or an anti-inflammatory cream. So if you're gonna be spending a lot of time outside, you can grab a dog-safe sunscreen and apply it to those burn-prone areas. Once you're outside, make sure to reapply sunscreen every four to six hours or after your dog goes swimming. Sunburns are not the only hazard with prolonged sun exposure. Because your dog wears a year-round fur coat and they can't sweat like we do, they're at an increased risk for heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Although dogs have some sweat glands, they primarily cool themselves through panting. Certain breeds, especially brachycephalic breeds like pugs or French bulldogs, have an increased risk for heat stroke or exhaustion because of the structure of their nasal cavity. In addition to prolonged direct sun exposure, other culprits for heat stroke include dogs who are left inside a non-air conditioned car even if it doesn't feel hot outside, excessive play during warm weather without any breaks for cooling or hydration, inadequate access to cool water during warm weather, and being left outside without shade or water. You also want to be mindful if you're walking your dog outside during a hot day because the sun can heat up that pavement very quickly. So what are some things you can do to proactively protect your dog from the sun? Start off by avoiding taking your dog outside during the hottest part of the day. And this is usually between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. When you do go outside, make sure your dog has proper shade and you take ample breaks. Hydration is key, so make sure you have fresh water available at all times. Something like Native Pet's bone broth can also help encourage your dog to drink. UV rays can damage your dog's skin barrier, so support your dog's skin health with something like Native Pet's Omega Oil. If you have to take your dog out when there's hot pavement, you can try putting on a booty designed for dogs, but make sure it's specifically made to protect them during hot weather. Cold weather booties can actually cause your dog to overheat during the hot weather. You can also place a cooling vest or sun protective clothing on your dog to protect them from the heat. And a word of caution, if you think that your dog is suffering from heat exhaustion, your first reaction may be to put ice cubes on them or give them cold ice water, but this can actually shock their system and cause more damage. So at the first sign of any heat-related problems, immediately bring your dog indoors and you can try giving them cool or tepid water while you call your veterinarian. Spending time in the sun with your dog can raise everybody's mood, but make sure you follow these sun safety tips to keep your dog healthy and happy. For more tips on pet health, make sure to subscribe to our channel for new videos every week. See you guys next time.